The CDC is warning about a potentially deadly fungus that's apparently spreading throughout hospitals. Cases have been reported in at least 30 states, including California. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez has details on known cases in San Diego and talked with an infectious disease expert to learn who is most at risk. Cases of this fungus are climbing at hospitals and nursing homes. The CDC says cases nearly doubled in 2021 and continue to grow. The CDC says the rise in Candida auris is an urgent threat. The World Health Organization last year ranked it as among the worst fungal threats facing public health. Dr. Monica Gandhi says it can be deadly for people who have weak immune systems. People getting it through the skin into the catheters that we have, like IV lines, getting it into the bloodstream, and unfortunately then people can get really sick. She says about one in three patients who are seriously infected die. Candida auris cases are growing. The CDC reported 756 in 2020. This jumped to more than 1,400 in 2021 and more than 2,300 cases in 2022. It is often drug resistant. We have to pull out kind of big gun antifungals um, to use for this. So fundamentally, we need to get on top of cleaning things, you know, um, using less antibiotics, good infection control practices. The CDC says California has the second most cases in the nation. In September 2021, two patients tested positive in San Diego County at two separate healthcare facilities. Health officials recommend screenings to detect the fungus and taking special steps to isolate infected patients. So it is still very rare to cause serious infections. Those are serious infections. And really in immunocompromised people in long-term care facilities, raising the alarm is the right thing to do. She says healthy people can be infected and have no idea because they don't show any symptoms. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.